Hello? May I have your attention, please? Welcome aboard Harmony Airlines. We hope you'll all enjoy a pleasant flight, and we'd especially like to welcome all the barbershop quartets on board. The entire crew has really enjoyed all the singing This and is the captain speaking. We have temporarily lost power to our number one engine. Hello? There's nothing to worry about. The loss of one engine simply means we'll have to stay in the air an hour longer due to slow... Uh, this is the captain again. We've had to feather our number two engine also. Hello? Not to worry. We'll just have to stay in the air two hours longer now because of the reduced speed and... Now uh, this is the captain speaking. The number three engine just went bye-bye. Hello. Everything is still okay. We'll just have to stay aloft for an extra three hours now. Gee, I hope the last engine doesn't stop or we'll be up here forever. Sunny, 
side up, up, either side that gets blue. If you have nine sons in a row, baseball teams make money, you know, so keep your funny side up, up, let your laughter come through, do, stand up on your legs, be like two fried eggs, keep your sunny side up. Getting dark. <laughs> Way to go. Since it's getting dark, we ought to settle down, enjoy the sunset, and just get some rest. Hey! Anyone seen Earl Moon? What? Oh, 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 oh. Haven't seen Earl. Him. Nah, I haven't seen him. Hey, listen. Coyotes. Sure is pretty, isn't it? Sure is. Kind of makes me want to sing along with them. Typical barber shop.
gents. Nice night, ain't it? Hey, Lewis, it's an old prospector. I bet he can show us a way out of here. Oh, yeah. Hey, hey, hey. I ain't no prospector. You ain't? Oh, you're a golfer. You've been trying to get out of this sand trap forever, I bet. Three weeks now. <laughs> That's what I mean. <laughs> What we got, ESP? <laughs> ESPN. Yeah. I remember now, I saw you on TV on the skin game a couple of weeks ago. Hey, that you did. I gotta tell you, I was really impressed. When that funeral went by the golf game, you were the only one who took off his hat and showed a little respect. Well, that was the least I could do. We've been married nine to thirty years. Oh. <laughs> That's a terrible thing to say. Hey. Does that mean you can't show us a way out of here? I'm as lost as you are. Oh, no, no, no. We're all gonna die out here. No food, no water, no prospector to show us the way out, and no late night with David Letterman. Now, oh. now, now, wait, wait. Things ain't all that bad. Why, take a look at that star, that wishing star up there in the heavens. All you got to do is believe. You know, he's got a point there. When a star is born, they possess a gift or two. One of them is this. They have the power to make your wish. upon a star makes no difference who you are anything your heart desires will come to you if your heart is in your dreams no request is too extreme when you wish upon a star as upon a star your dreams come true it is time she, she brings to those who love the sweet, sweet fulfillment of their secret longing like a bolt out of the steps in and sees you through. When you wish upon a star, your dreams come true. When you wish upon a star, your dreams come true.
Stapled to the chicken. Well, nobody sings entire songs anymore. All we sing is the ends, just the ends of the songs. You mean you can only sing tags? That is correct. I have studied the barbershop tag in the archaeological literature. Originally, the tag functioned to provide a sense of completion or finality to the barbershop song. This was uh, accomplished using a strong cadence, often consisting of... Oh, put a of cork in it, Spock! <laughs> Nobody sings entire songs anymore, and we thought maybe you could give us a hand and teach us a few. Yeah, but which songs? There are so many songs. Well, don't you have a greatest hit? Well, sure we do. Hey, Spock, lend your pointy ears to this list of old standards. Hit it, guys. Yes, the greatest songs of all that I recall, they wrote them in the good old days. Remember, sweet Adeline and Harrigan's fine to mention a name or two. Little Annie Rooney by the old mill stream. Heart of my heart, peg of my heart, and doodly doodly doom. That's the way my dad and mother used to sing it. Sailing away on Harmony Bay, your old wedding ring was home. Baby face and honeysuckle rose. Yes, the greatest songs of all are the ones that I recall. They wrote them in the good old days. They wrote them in the good old days. Those ever-loving good old days. Hop on, I want a girl, but just like the girl by the light of the silvery moon. Put your arms around me, honey, hold me tight. Some of these days, if I had my way, the old soft true. Hum along and whistle if you know the chorus. What'll I do? It had to be you in Mexicali Road. Deeper to the Yankee Doodle Boy. Yes, the greatest songs of all are the ones that I recall. They wrote them in the good old days. Do you, do you remember the things that they did when dear, when dear old daddy was only a kid? They wore the flapper hats and derbies and spats. Do you Odo and Razamatez, and you broke your back up all in the jack. Do you remember? Do you remember when all oh, those good old days ain't a here no more? No more, yes, sir, those good old days. Not 
knocking on a door. Who's there? Joe sent me. Do you remember the vamp was the rage? And me and Mr. Jolson was king of the stage. The Bearcat Stutz was simply the nuts. Do you remember? Do you remember when? Yes, the greatest songs of all are the ones that I recall. They wrote them in the good old ever loving good old. Yeah. They wrote them in the ever loving good old. some great examples, but how did it really start? You see, it all began when, when Obi-Wan Kenobi started bellowing something about, May the Force be with you. May the Force be with you. Most illogical. The sound waves created by vocal exhalations are insufficient to but produce such I, an effect. I thought it was Professor Ming and his flying oh, dog. The, the, the flying dogs belong to the Wicked Wicked East. She sent him yeah. after Dorothy hey, and Toto. Hey, what hey, you hey, mean? Hey, 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 I believe that was flying monkeys. Well, you know, it actually started prior to vaudeville, and it's probably a mixture of gospel and minstrel music. Hey, I got a great idea. Yeah. Why don't we get some of the guys together? We'll give them a sample of some minstrel song. Well, okay, you know, I wish Earl Moon was here to direct us, though. He was probably there at the time, and he's an expert. I know he was, yeah. Get out the way, old Dan Tucker. Get out the way, old Dan Tucker. Get out the way, old Dan Tucker. You're too late to come to supper. I came to town the other night, I heard the fuss, I saw the fight. The watchman, he was running around crying, old Dan Tucker's come to town. Get out the way, old Dan Tucker, get out the way, old Dan Tucker, get out the way, old Dan Tucker, you're too late to come to supper. You're too late to come to supper. Hey, get along. Get along, Josie. Hey, get along, Jim along, Joe. Hey, get along, get along, Josie. Hey, get along, Jim along, Joe. Hey, get along, get along, Josie. Hey, get along, Jim along, Joe. Hey, get along, get along, Josie. Hey, get along, Jim along, Joe. Hey, get along, Jim along, Joe. Well, in the last half of the 19th century, a young man burst on the musical scene. He was to give us some 200 songs. His name was Stephen Foster, and his poems and his melodies reflect so well the age in which they were written. Oh, never count the bubbles when there's water in the spring. A traveler has no troubles when he's got this song to sing. Ring, ring the banjo, I like that good old song. Come again, good fortune, no oh, way you've been so long. Ring, ring the banjo, I like that good old song. Come again, good fortune, no oh, way you've been so long. Camp Town Lady, sing this song, do da, do da. Camp Town Racetrack, by my long old do da day. Come down here with my hat caved in, do da, do da. Going back home with the pocket full of sin, oh, do da day. Wind to run all night, all night, wind to run all day. All day, bet my money on a bobtail nag. Somebody bet on the bay. Somebody bet on the bay. Somebody bet on the bay. Susanna for to see. 
Oh, Susanna, oh, don't you cry for me, for I come from Alabama with my banjo on my knee. Oh, Susanna, oh, don't you cry for me, for I come from Alabama with my banjo. countries, Ireland's a little place, but what would this old world be like without the Irish race? If there'd never been an Ireland, there would be no wild Irish rose, and the shamrock never would be growing where the river Shannon flows. If there'd never been an island, there would be no place called Athlone, and there'd be no lakes of Killarney. Nobody does an Irish song like a barbershop quartet. But didn't it eventually it evolve into something a little jazzier? Well, it sure did. Hey, you want to hear a song from the Dixie era? That'd be great, yeah. yeah.
fascinating and excellent example of rhythmic variation accompanied by harmonic strains of an unusual sonority. Easy, Spock. And You're letting your emotions run away with you. <laughs> you know, you futuristic barber shoppers ain't heard nothing yet. You want to hear a really good quartet, get a load of these guys. Yeah, you know, our pals, the hometown favorites were on board. They know some songs that'll blow your socks off. Come on, guys, show these abbreviated chord busters a, a good thing or two. Ladies and gentlemen, the hometown favorites. Oh, there's a place I'd like to be, and it's back in Tennessee, where your friendly neighbors smile and say hello. hello. There's a pleasure and a treat to meander down the street. That's why I want the whole wide world to know. I love those dear hearts and gentle people who live in my hometown. Back in my because those dear hearts and gentle people will never ever let the weekend goes. The weekend I've got goes. a dream house I'll build there one day with a picket fence and rambling rows. I feel so welcome each time that I return that my happy, happy heart keeps smiling like a cloud. I love those dear hearts and gentle people who live and love in my being ever so humble. With friends who live in my hometown. In my hometown. Bring back those good old songs. Cause I want to hear them again. Whatever happened to the old song my mother sang to me? I wish someone would bring them back so we could sing them like we did when we were three. Whatever happened to the old song, sure you hear them now and then. But they don't play enough of them, we really love them, want to bring them back again. Songs. And what about sweet Adeline? I wish someone would groom shine on harvest moon. And that good old gang of mine. this evening. You having a good time? I didn't hear you. Are you having a good time? Okay then. All right. Now I hear you. Okay. Um, we are the hometown favorites and we're glad to be uh, here at the uh, Whittier Show. Uh, it's our first time as a quartet on the show, although these gentlemen here have probably been on the show many times before in years past. Um, the next song we'd like to do is made famous by Al Jolson, which you probably know who he is, right? 
Um, and uh, it's, um, it's one of your favorites, and uh, after we get through, we hope it's one of ours.
on the folks in D-I-X-I-E, even know my mammy's waiting for me, praying for me down, down by the Swanee. The folks away up north will see me no more when I get to the Swanee shore. So get your girl, be sure to give her a boat ride on that Swanee River when it's night time, night time in Dixie. Thank you very much. We certainly have a great time singing the good old songs, and especially on holidays like Christmas, because there's so many wonderful Christmas carols, and Mother's Day, because there's so many songs about mom, like M-O-T-H-E-R spells mother, and my mother's eyes, Mammy O' Mine, Mother McCree, just a lot of great songs about mom. And then a few weeks later, we celebrate Father's Day. And you know what? Not very many songs written about dad. Well, we found two. One of them was uh, Old Man River. <laughs> and the other one is Pop Goes the Weasel. And we think that's a shame, and we're going to do something about that right now. Fathers, no one seems to realize that fathers are the most neglected guys, so do everything you can. You owe a lot to your old man. You should always love your papa, treat him right and treat him proper, for without your father you would be nowhere. If he had not met your mother, would your brother be your brother? You can thank your lucky stars that Pop was there. If it wasn't for your father, would your mother be your mother? So remember that on Mother's Day. If you look just like your father, and you think that it's a bother, cause he isn't handsome and he isn't tall. If your face makes you unhappy, do not blame it on your pappy, for without him you would have no face at all. If it wasn't for your father, would your mother be your mother? So remember that on Mother's Day. If your ma lived in Dakota and your pa in Minnesota and they both were wed but not to one another, then it's possible that, mister, you could even be your sister and the guy you think you are might be your brother. If it wasn't was for your father, would your mother be your mother? So remember that on Mother's Day. If he'd been a little stronger and held off a little longer, then today he might have been a single guy. Then it's safe to be assuming that you would not be a human. You would only be a gleam in mother's eye. So be grateful to your baby, make him happy. Once again, I'd like to say, if it wasn't for your father, would your mother be your mother? So remember that on mother's and don't forget it. Remember that on Mother's Day you won't regret it. Remember that on Mother's Day, Mother's Day. She was a dancer, a prettier girl I'd never seen before. I went to the theater to see her. What a shock when I opened up the door. She was dancing the bump, bump, bumpity bump. The audience was going, going wild. She looked at me and threw me a kiss as I came stumbling down the aisle. With every bump, bump, bumpity bump, my heart started bumping too. 
Now every night you see me in a front row seat And I'll be cheering with the rest of them and stomping my feet I knew I'd met a gal to make my life complete With her bump, bump, bumpity, 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 bump I took her home to meet my and pa They said she was a girl for me, girl for me. They wished us both a happy life That's when I made this gal my wife Now I get home each Night about five, she got that radio on. She starts to move it all around the kitchen floor. The neighbors peeking in and screaming, more, more, more. Yeah, yeah, they ask if I sold tickets at my front door to watch her dance a bumpity One more time. She starts to move it all around the kitchen floor. The neighbors peeking in and screaming, more, more, more. Yeah, yeah, they ask if I sold tickets at my front door to watch her dance, dance. Swing sway night and day. Love that bumpity bump, 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 bumpity bump. <laughs> we have a public service announcement for you. So please pay attention. There are only 259 more shopping days until Christmas. So just to get you in the Christmas spirit and the shopping mood, here's a Christmas song. The first day after Christmas, my true love and I had a fight. Such a fight, and so I chopped the pear tree down and burned it just for spite. Then with a single cartridge, I shot that blasted partridge. My true love, my true love, my true love gave to me. The second day after Christmas, I pulled on the old rubber gloves, rubber gloves and very gently wrung the necks of both the turtle doves. My true love, my true love, my true love gave to me. The third day after Christmas, my mother caught the crew. The crew. I had to use the three French hens to make some chicken soup. The four calling birds were a big mistake, for the language was obscene. The five golden rings were completely fake, and they turned my fingers green. The sixth day after Christmas, the six lame geese wouldn't lay. Wouldn't lay. I gave the whole darn gaggle to the ASPCA. On the seventh day, what a mess I found. All seven of the swimming swans had drowned. My true love, my true love, my true love, my true love gave to me. Day after Christmas, before they could suspect, suspect I bundled up the eight, made some milking nine, five, 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 ten, ten, ladies dancing, eleven, lords are leaping, twelve, drummers drumming, and sent them back a
gentlemen. Thank you for the serenade. As I recall, that song originated in a movie. You're absolutely right, Mr. Spock. In fact, that's one of the beautiful songs that really lends itself so well to the barbershop harmony. Well, since we're in California, that's the movie capital of the world, you know. Oh, thank you so much, Johnny Polko. We couldn't have lived without that. Look, I know what movies are all about. I'm an old-time radio collector. I love the shows, and I love the movies. It's one of my favorite things to do, well, watching have, movies. I have something better than watching movies. What's what that? I'm sorry. Say what? that again. Try that again. I didn't hear you. I didn't either. Well, it, listen. Okay. Instead of watching. Oh, okay. I said I, I know something better than just only watching movies. You oh, do? Yes. What's that, John? Singing about them. There's lots of things in this old world Fancy cars and pretty girls And something I like more than sunny skies The grandest thing I've ever seen Are pictures on a movie screen A world of make-believe before your eyes It's a world of kings and queens Up there on that movie screen It's a picnic crossing river quiet Movies are great medicine, we thank you Thomas Edison for giving us the best years of our lives. Citizen Kane came mutiny, mutiny on the bounty, bounty hunter, the hunter and the sting. Blackboard Jungle, Jungle Jim, Jim Thorpe, all American, Fred Astaire, and all the ones with being. 
I love anything that moves, dancing feet to horses' hooves, painting plates to Dorothy's trip to Oz. Tom Mix to David Hedison, we thank you, Thomas Edison, for giving us the best years of our life. I love Captain Blood and Elmer Fudd and Charlie Chan. Then, then, her the way we were, true grit and music man. Yes, Thunderball and Walking Tall and Jaws and Jesse James. Doctor No and Vertigo and singing in the rain. Singing in the rain. One flew over the cuckoo's nest. The movies are the craziest. I'll be a movie nut until I die. Movies are great medicine. We thank you, Thomas Edison, for giving us the best years of our lives. For giving us the best years of our lives with Dolly Parton. For giving us the best years of our lives. Yeah. Yeah. That was all right. It appears perfectly logical to me that as the years advance, the barbershop style advanced accordingly. It does seem as though the, the, the force was with them. Well, in my many, many years as an ardent star, star searcher, I came across an unrivaled musical activity here called Bonzo. Did barbershoppers successfully adapt to this new style of music? Yeah. But of course! Remember the days, the old vaudeville craze, when we were the best on the shows, on the show we danced, and we sang till the theater rang, but that was long. known as the tag. You mean the part of the song that we do? That's the one. 
It seems appropriate that we demonstrate this tag phenomenon at this time. Do you think we could? Uh, to do that, we would need to find a baritone in the worst way. Can I? One must be careful what one asks for. <laughs> Have an envelope. You may already be a winner. <laughs> My dream is all to live no more, no more. Last night. You know, that was great, but you know, there is a story that precedes that tag. It's a beautiful love story of love that was lost. That's right. Very, very sad indeed. You, you, mean, you, you mean there's a complete song to, to, to our favorite oh, tag? Oh, yes, yes. Gentlemen, why don't we sing them that song that makes this tag so powerful? All right. All right. Barbershop Harmony? Almost, old timer. Mr. Old Timer, the condition of your beast of burden alarms me. Does it require medical attention? Well, no, not that I know of. Why? I have observed that it proceeds haltingly and then stops. When you urge it to continue, it stops again soon thereafter. Most unusual. Ah, 
Well, I can explain that. <laughs> She's just hard of hearing. <laughs> I fail to see the logic in that statement. Well, it's like this, you see, that she's afraid that she's not going to hear me when I say, whoa, so she just stops every now and again to listen. 